Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the General Store build. Uh, last night, uh, I got a jump start on this build, and we just did all of the almond color wall painting, and I started on the trim. Um, other than the bracing, everything has been painted up to this point. Um, tonight I just want to show you kind of how everything turned out. Um, and so I am going to zoom in on the trim. And then tonight, uh, all we're going to do is I'm going to paint the strip around each of the, uh, wall pieces. And then that's all we're going to do tonight. And, um, that will complete uh the painting portion um then the next video will be just a uh beginning of the assembly so essentially so with that let me take you down closer so here is the uh outcome of last night's uh painting. This is uh, Mississippi Mud is the brown color that I'm using for the trim and decorative stuff. And, um, and I'll post uh, up a picture of what the actual color scheme is here. Um, and you can see what ma this matches exactly what um, I'm doing here. And it's the brown bore on the bottom of the building with the brown door trim and door and then the whole building trim um all is the same and then um with this is color that we're using we're we're using mississippi mud as the brown and then we're using an almond color or for the background um and then um after, before we do an installation or the, the walls, uh, there is one thing that I will be adding, and that is uh, some uh, advertisement, and I'll show you those. As you suggested, Craig, if you're, if you're watching, Craig, uh, as you suggested, I took my scanner and I copied my um, advertisements, and I actually um, got these copied. Uh, let me bring this out a little bit so you can see. Um, so I scan these. Um, don't mind this or that. Those are ones that were already used, but I'm gonna be using some of these smaller ones um, like, uh, Tootsie Roll, um, this appears to be maybe a Cracker Jack, a Cracker Jack and Tootsie Roll, these, I'm, I'm gonna use one of these, um, as you can see, uh, as you, as you've seen, um, there is just really a lot of space to put anything on any one of these, except for right here by the front door, um, and whatnot so I'm that's why I'm gonna go and try to utilize one of these smaller ones um I'll probably use the Cracker Jacks there and then I might try um one of these other ones on there as well um but the nice thing about this is that I have the master of these and I can make them whatever. Um, and I'm learning to apply these things. So I have a lot of uh, the smaller two here. Um, I don't really know uh, if it goes anywhere. It's going to go here. It can't go up here because that's where the awning's going to go for the front of the building. So it's got to go down here along the door here or in between here. Um, and if we play this right, we have to play this long ways. So 
Um, I'm probably not going to use that one. I'm probably going to use this here. Um, the side of the building is here. The only other place to put anything is on the back of the building. So um, I'm considering I'm maybe doing that. Um, just because I haven't figured the placement out, I could probably make that work. Maybe that's the back side of the general store and there's a street back there. I don't know. But I might put... Um, I might try to squeeze in this Coca -Cola, ice cold uh, Coca-Cola and Tootsie Roll on the back here and just fade them in. You know, I don't, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but these three are the ones that I'm going to probably tinker with. Uh, I have ways of putting those on that I've learned from um, Greg. Uh, and so we're going to do what we can. Um, this... I've done other ones uh, of, of applying them. I did, like I said, this is the one I did. These are just peel and stick. So they just stuck right on. They turned out okay. Um, I believe they turned out okay. Um, for, th for this particular build, first time I did them on here, turned out okay. Um, and yes, the, uh, thing about this stand is, is that the stand does not call for these little supports. This, if you look at the picture, this is actually glued in a much more open position. Um, so it, it's up. I chose to do a little more closed, and what I did is I added my own touch, and I just took a toothpick and custom sized it, and then I just matched the paint and weathered it with little pigment chalk, like I did everything else on here, um, and th that's all it is. It's just a toothpick. That's it. Just so much. That's just a simple little thing that, to me, just adds like a country lunch stand or fruit stand or whatever you know um i still have to add a few uh things to it but that was my first one i did this is the second one i'm going to do and i've learned a little bit more from craig uh watching what he does um but anyway with that let's jump right on in um now that we've done all of the review of what i've done all of this is the windows, the door, the trim, and the detail features on the structure. So they are done. Let's move on up here. And we're going to try our hand at uh, doing this one at a time here. So again, like I said last night, I always shake my paints up. Okay, now that I did that, we got our paintbrush here. I like to work out of the cap if I can, just especially when I'm doing small, like little layer stuff. Ah, oh, perfect. And that's a good start. Um, I don't always use a. I don't always take the wrapper off the lid because <laughs> that's this is how I paint. Uh, this is usually unless I'm mixing paints. Um, then I'll put them on my paint palette over here, and then I'll mix them um, and everything. But if I'm going right from strictly the bottle, I'll just usually dab in the lid. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with the front of the building here. And I'm going to do it a little easier when I do it this way with the grain. And I just pull, do towards me. Instead, I find it easier that way instead of trying to go sideways. Because then your brush tends to angle. you got to do weird angles. So what I do is I do this. I can do a dry brush straight down. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to slide these all off right here. Because they're dry. And the finished ones will go on here. And I'm just going to paint them on here. So here we go. See, that's all the old <laughs> um, stuff. So let's just begin here okay so now all right we'll just just again just like i did 
last night. I'm going to dab it. And I'm just going to figure out, okay, so I want to go, um, uh, let's go uh, about right there on the building. So all of this down here. And so we got to go. Carefully. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I gotta go one more on this side. That's what I thought. So we get it even. I forgot to get me my um, painter's tape. This would have been a lot easier. Uh, what I normally would have did is I would have just took a piece of pa uh, blue. You can do it. Um, tonight my hands feel okay, so I, I feel pretty good about it. Um, but what I would have did is I would have count up where, how far up I want it, and then I would have there, and then I would have just put painter's tape across to, and then just paint it. It's a lot easier. It's safer. You're not going to have to worry about it. It's not going to bleed, that kind of thing. Um, so I feel pretty good about doing this tonight, though. My hands are actually fairly good. Um, and you just got to do... What you got to do, you know? And I'm just going to dab it and apply it. And then just kind of make it look good. Um, that kind of thing. Again, I, I don't mind using a paper towel. Um, I'm not going to make this an old station if I don't, you know. I just want to look it to look clean, you know. Uh, I'm really trying to work on that, you know. I, I can easily make buildings look old and, I, and weathered and whatnot so um that kind of thing um but i'm only i'm not using very much paint at, at a single time and whatnot so uh and i'm not worried about getting the 100 percent to to be good you know, um, so with that, we have the front of the wall complete. Check that out. Check how that looks. Um, that looks pretty good. I like that. So we'll put that over here to dry. That's that. Now, I know I went up six runs, so we'll go do the back one next. <coughs> um, uh, -da -da -do. Uh, okay, so... So uh, we're going to go right right there. Uh, 
once you get your height set on one side, You can go, easily go down that one side and come along the bottom and make it look real good. There, I like that. Now this, yeah, one, two, three. <clears throat> Let's see, there's one, two. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick touch up right here. Yep, that looks pretty darn good there for me. I'll just run that down there, kind of dry brush and everything there and another thing about kind of not having a lot of paint on your brush too is that if you get it to where you like it it won't take that long to dry you know Okay, and then you have that's how you have that. You know, this Yep. Okay, so I goofed on that. Oh well. So we can fix that. Um This is the other way of doing what I could have did is all I gotta do now is just add, if you wanna make it the same, I just gotta go up two more boards on the front. And this is why, uh, this is a very good teaching example um, that when you're, paint, when you're wanting to paint, you mask off where you want. Um, but if you forget, like, if you forget or just were, are not able to, this is just another way to do it. Um, just do the wall where you want it and then match it up and then just you have it and do that for each piece. So, you know, and whatnot. So. Um, it's it's all good. Um, so. We're OK with this. It's not too bad. And I just th mix it, blend it, and thin it out. There. 
doesn't have to be real perfect you know it's not a new new building but it's it's a clean building so now i got that one done i just come along with uh i'll use that as a template now so to show you an example of how i should have did it i just laid it down the bottom this is a wall meeting the back anyway so what i'm going to do is just kind of do this i'm going to match it just like so it's lined up and so i just kind of go just like that and then I come over here, do the same on this side. I just transfer. And what this also does is because these are pieces that are going to be touching it anyway. It just transfers the the paint stroke over to it so it also can help with it and all that so now i'm done with this i can just thin this all out don't want it too thick so i'll just thin it out there we go this can go over here on the drying towel and this we can just do boom 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 That center piece there needs to match. So. I'm kind of curious here. I will go back and have to touch up this one little run because I got it. So I counted one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. I got one too many on the middle one. That's okay. That's a minor touch up. But as you can see, it's it is coming out really, really nice. Um uh I just wasn't expecting to get the uh the air that I did so I'm just again just lay it right here and I'm just going here like I said the one I need to fix is in the middle here so we're just gonna go and just tr you're just transferring the line over just like this Boom. Then you go down to the other end, do the same thing. You don't want to do this and then turn around and do it like this because <laughs> then you have them on opposite sides. So you might have, you just gotta make sure you just move it from here over to here. Make sure they're lined up just like that. Get some paint and just make sure that you can make sure you can mark it. So, okay, um, this is segment is about done for tonight ladies and gentlemen um so i hope you guys are 
liking what you see so far. I know I am. So let's just give it a whirl. And uh, this will pretty much complete the uh, painting um, on this kit. Um, I'm going to be doing signage, but I'm not going to do it until this all dries. So in the next video, I will be doing the windows and the signage. So I'll do a demonstration mainly is what I do. I'm not going to do every single window because it just is so time consuming, especially on video. Um, I'm going to... Uh, probably do one window, show you how I do it. And then, um, um, show you the finished product after it, it's all done. Because it just takes too much time, and I don't like doing a fast forward on a video build, it just just not my thing so um but i am happy to say that this is start looking good it's a good color choices here so it's mississippi mud with almond as if you want to know other than the one little piece in the middle that i got to fix on that one these are the pieces that are looking pretty darn snazzy if you don't say if I don't say so. Um, now look at that. Look at that co color combination. Um, and then we're gonna add them. Um, Let's just put this the, this one window up here and show you what it's going to look like if I can. So, just to give you an idea, <coughs> this is what it's going to look like. It's not out of its shell yet, mind you, but there's the windows that are the brown. It's going to go on the brown and the whites. So it's going to have a little bit of a contrast there and then and that's going to do for all of the windows which is kind of cool um so it will it's going to come together nicely i think so we're just about ready to do some assembly um and um so that was my video for tonight of this build just uh keeping moving things forward um, maybe tomorrow I will jump on and, uh, this will be ready to do a window. Uh, I'll do a window tomorrow and maybe do the, um, I'll do a combination of the windows, uh, I'll show you how I do it and then do, um, I'll do the, uh, I'll show you how I'm going to do the windows and then I will apply the uh, signage um, and then that will be that. And then after that, I'll have all the windows done. Um, so yeah, tomorrow I'll come on and I'll just do the, uh, a window and I'll do my signage that I want to do. I'll have it all ready to go, um, and then uh, we'll just get it done, and I'll, you'll see how my signage is going to turn out, and how the windows are going to go in. Um, I'll probably um, not worry about these two pieces. I'm going to focus on the... Uh, the I uh, probably will just focus my time on this piece right here, the back window. And then I will put my signage on there and then um, maybe 
maybe put the door in and uh being doors are kind of temperamental, I will probably do the door off uh, um, off camera and then and do the other um, advertisement here by the door um, and then just show you the, the results. But primarily tomorrow, we're going to work on the back, get the window in, do uh, and do some signage. That's my plan for tomorrow. So until then, we will see you later. Enjoy the hobby, whatever it is you're doing tonight in the hobby, or tomorrow, depending on what your squirrel's work schedule is, or if you work at all. Uh, keep keep checking forward, and uh, look look forward to seeing you out there. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.